there everyone today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Trinity stitch um, as you can see it kind of creates like little boxes in the texture it is quite a nice thick squishy stitch so I think it would make a really nice winter baby bl um, blanket maybe the body of a hat it would keep you really nice and warm just showing you the texture there but you'd be surprised how easy it is once you've worked the first row um, it really is a warm row repeat and it is a nice simple one so it's great for a beginner so what I'm doing is I'm going to make um, the washcloth that we have free on our blog post for this stitch I'm using Stylecraft Sunday because I'm hoping that the differences in the colour will allow you to see more of how the the texture in the stitch actually shows up. So what I've done already is I've got my foundation single crochet row of 41. In order to work this stitch you need an even number plus one so really you need to start with an odd number. So I've chained one and turned and I'm going to insert my hook into that first stitch and single crochet. Now with the Trinity stitch you start it in the same stitch you finished the last stitch and you work over three stitches. So what we'll do is we'll insert our hook into that same stitch into the first stitch, wrap our yarn and pull it through. Then we'll go into the next stitch, we'll wrap our yarn and pull it through. So you can see there we're over two stitches. And then we'll go into the third stitch, wrap our yarn and pull it through. So we're working into three stitches at a time. Then we'll wrap our yarn and pull through all four loops on our hook and chain one and we follow that process all the way to the end so this is where if you can see that the last leg of that stitch went into so we're going to insert our hook into that same stitch wrap our yarn and pull it through insert our hook into the second stitch wrap our yarn and pull it through and insert our hook into that next stitch, wrap our yarn and pull it through. So again we're working across three stitches and we will wrap our yarn and pull through all four loops on our hook and then we'll chain one and we'll do that again. So we'll insert our hook into the last stitch we worked when we did the previous stitch, wrap our yarn and pull it through and then we'll insert our hook into the next stitch, wrap our yarn and pull it through and we'll insert our hook into the next stitch, wrap our yarn and pull it through. Then we'll wrap our yarn, pull through all four loops on our hook and chain one. And then we'll follow that process again. So working into the last stitch we worked into, we're going to insert our hook wrap our yarn and pull it through and into the next one insert our hook wrap our yarn whoops I didn't quite get the top there and pull it through and into the third one so we end up with four loops on our hook and then we will wrap our yarn and pull through all four loops on our hook and chain one. There, that's a little bit of a better visual. So you can see this stitch here is the last stitch we worked into on the last Trinity stitch that we made. So we're actually I'll just sort myself out. So you can see there that that's the last stitch we worked into. So we're going to work into that one, we'll insert our hook, wrap our yarn and pull through. 
then we'll go into the next stitch insert our hook wrap our yarn and pull through and then the third stitch for the Trinity insert our hook wrap our yarn and pull it through so you can see there we're working into three stitches starting with the stitch where we finish the last Trinity stitch then we'll wrap our yarn and pull through all four loops on our hook and then we chain one so you can see this is the stitch the third stitch of that last Trinity stitch we're going to insert our hook into that same stitch wrap our yarn and pull it through insert our hook into the next stitch wrap our yarn and pull it through and insert our hook into the next stitch wrap our yarn and pull it through so we have four loops on our hook wrap our yarn pull through all four and chain one and we follow that process all the way to the end of our row And then we get to the last stitch. If I just work the last stitch, you can see I've got two stitches that are left unworked. And this is the, the stitch where I've finished the last stitch. So we'll work the same principle. Insert our hook into the last stitch we worked on the previous Trinity stitch. Wrap our yarn and pull through. Do the same on the next stitch. And the same on the last stitch. Then we'll wrap our yarn, pull through all four, but here we do not chain one. What we do instead is we work another single crochet, just to tidy up that edge. And we basically follow that process, so we're going to chain one, turn. We're going to single crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to start our Trinity stitches. So we will insert our hook into that first stitch. Wrap our yarn and pull through. I've got our first single crochet of the row. So we don't chain one at this point. We only chain one after our Trinity stitch. But not on the last Trinity stitch of the row. So we're going to insert our hook into that same stitch that we've just worked that single crochet wrap our yarn and pull through so we've got two loops on our hook then we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch remember the chains from the previous row do count as stitches wrap our yarn and pull through so we've got three loops on our hook and then we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch wrap our yarn and pull through so then we've got our four loops on our hook over our three stitches we'll wrap our yarn pull through all four and chain one remember don't make those chain ones too tight otherwise you'll regret that in the next row so then you can see here this is the last stitch we worked from the previous Trinity stitch so we're going to insert our hook into that stitch we're going to wrap our yarn and pull through two loops on our hook then we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch wrap our yarn and pull through three loops on our hook and then we're going to insert our hook into that next stitch wrap our yarn and pull through so there's four loops on our hook so we can wrap our yarn 
and pull through all four loops and then chain one and we follow that process all the way along the row so we'll insert our hook into the same stitch that we just finished our previous trinity stitch on and pull through then we'll insert it into the next stitch wrap our yarn and pull through and then we'll insert it into the next stitch which is a chain stitch and I made it just ever so slightly too tight there we go wrap our yarn and pull through so we've got our four loops over three stitches and then we're going to wrap our yarn and pull through all four loops and then we'll do our chain one and then we'll insert our hook into the same stitch that we've just finished the last trinity on wrap our yarn and pull through insert our hook into the next stitch wrap our yarn and pull through and then insert our hook into that third stitch which is another chain that I did ever so slightly too tight there we go wrap our yarn and pull through so we get our four loops on our hook and then we will wrap our yarn pull through all four loops and chain one and we'll follow that all the way to the end of the row so we'll do that all the way up to the last three stitches and we'll work our trinity stitch across the last three stitches we will wrap our yarn pull through and instead of doing a chain one to end we will literally just work a single crochet in that very last stitch and then we turn our work chain one single crochet in that first stitch and then we'll start the process of our trinity stitch again so um, insert our hook into that first stitch wrap our yarn pull through insert your hook into the second stitch wrap your yarn and pull through and insert your hook into that third stitch there we go wrap your yarn and pull through and then we'll wrap our yarn pull through all four chain one um, it is literally that easy to work the trinity stitch in fact the hardest part is when um, your chains are too tight <laughs> so if you continue doing those rows until your washcloth is as high as you would like it and then we finish off the row with one row of single crochet so this is my finished washcloth you can see that I repeated that that one row all the way up until my washcloth was approximately square and then literally finished it off with a row of single crochets just to get that nice edge along the top isn't it just a gorgeous stitch I really do love the texture of this one and it worked out quite well with that yarn so if I come in a bit you might be able to see the texture just a little bit better so it looks like lots of little almost like little stars or flowers so I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Um, if you have, please feel free to give us a like and a follow. Subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified of every um, video that we upload. Thank you for joining me today, guys. Take care. Bye.